With me, Aaron, let's start with you. What will Biden be looking for on the Democratic landscape that may make him decide to maybe get in? Well, look, Jose, I, I think there's not a whole lot new about these Biden reports, except that his staff is starting to make some calls and making some to do this. And I think the reason is that it's clear now that Hillary Clinton is more vulnerable at this stage of the campaign than people thought she would be. And of course, as you know, she's going to be testifying on the Hill on October 22nd, which means this email controversy and some of the lingering controversy over Benghazi has taken up the bulk of her campaign from March and it will go until at least October. And now there's a big opening for another Democrat to potentially take her on. Obviously, Bernie Sanders has been doing quite well, but this is really a realization that someone could effectively take on Hillary Clinton, and that could be Joe Biden. He, of course, as the vice president of the United States, has a national network of donors. And he's going to be seeing if he can raise the money over the next couple of months that would allow him to do it. And, okay, how difficult would that be? Um, it wouldn't be difficult to add water in Iowa and have a Biden campaign here. He has kept touch with supporters who started on the Biden effort in the 1980s. He ran here in 87. He ran here in 2007 and 2008. Um, I have heard anecdotally that as Hillary Clinton has gone around to private events and has run into people who say, I can't support you yet. I am waiting for, Senate, uh, for uh, Vice President Biden to make his decision. And she has told Biden people, I appreciate that kind of loyalty. So she has realized that she needs to reach out to these Biden people and try to bring them on board, but they have been waiting for him to make a decision.